8 EE3, uh, 8th grade expressions and equations, um, part 3. Use numbers expressed in the form of a single digit times an integer, power of 10 to estimate very large or small quantities and to express how many times as fast as much one is than the other. What? What? Oh, man, some more scientific notation. Okay, class. Um, I'm not quite sure how I've decided um, to put these um, two standards in order here. I know we have uh, EE3 and EE4, and both of them are dealing with scientific notation. Um, I'm thinking what I want to do is I want to put the four ahead of the three and show you the other video first. Uh, I'd like you to have a, a basis of what scientific notation is um, before we begin estimating and thinking about it, because there's some movement we might have to do with the integers, the coefficients, or some movement with the exponents. And in this video, that might not make sense um, unless you've had it previous to this. So let's see what we're talking about. Uh, a couple terms to know, scientific notation and standard form. So uh, pause the video and let's make sure that that's in your journal. As always, uh, scientific notation, we're going to deal with uh, base 10. So I have a little chart here of the base 10. And um, you've learned this already. Let's just review it real quick. We have 10 to the 0, which is 1 with zero zeros. 10 to the first is 1 with 1 zero, 1 with 2 zeros, 1,000, 10,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, 100,000, and I could go on and on. A uh, quick review of the negative exponents. If we had, uh, let's call it 10 to the negative first, uh, we know, oh, that's ugly. 10 to the negative first, we know that that is known as uh, 1 over 10 or 1 tenth. Um, or if we were to write that as a decimal, 1 tenth would be 1 in the tenth position. to the negative second is one one hundredth and that is a one in the hundredth position this is the tenth and this is the hundredth as a reminder this is one one thousandth and that is one in the thousandth position I'm not going to keep going here uh, we've talked about it before but that's just a quick reminder the standard states in those long wordy words uh, use numbers expressed in the form of a single digit, which is the three. The three is in a single digit as of right now, times an integer power of 10. The power of 10 is to the second power right now, and we are to estimate this as being a very large or very small quantity. Now, um, I'm not quite sure what they're getting at here in terms of what large and small means. That is different for every person's mind. Um, for my mind right now, what I think you should know is that a very large number um, is a number that's going to be, I, I'd say, like one or greater. And then a very small number would be uh, numbers between zero and one, and we call those decimal numbers. Um, I don't think we're going to be getting to negative coefficients in this in this uh, part of the standard. Um, maybe we'll come across that, but as of right now, what I mean by the coefficient is the number that is um, in front of that base 10. So that 3 is uh, going to be positive from here on out for, this, uh, for our purposes. All right, so if we're going to look at this 3 times 10 to the second, um, you know, we've talked a lot about this base 10, and we know that 10 to the second is 100. So we're estimating this at 100 times whatever your coefficient is. So if we have 100 right here and multiply it by this number, coefficient 3, uh, you, you're not even really estimating it. You can figure that out uh, probably without even a pencil uh, as that being 300. And I am estimating that to be a very large number. Again, for our case today, uh, large meaning more than 1, and 300 is definitely more than 1. Now, if I were to estimate maybe very small quantities, 
what do you think I would do to uh, this particular example? What would I do to make this a small estimate? Okay, you may have said, well, let's change the coefficient to make it smaller. Instead of making it three, let's make it something smaller than three. Uh, and then the other half of you probably said, well, that's easy. Let's, let's change the base 10. If we were to change the base 10 exponent of two and make that exponent smaller, we're going to have less digits in our answer. So um, both of you are, are correct. And... Um, we are really going to deal with the, the answer of the exponent. When we, when we change the value of the exponent, we are estimating these numbers to be uh, the very small quantities. And uh, you know, if I were to say 3 times 10 to the negative second, we're actually... Sorry for that interruption. Uh, someone came to the door. I apologize for that. So I think what I was getting at was... Um, 3 times 10 to the negative second, we're going to be changing um, our power of 10 to a decimal, which would obviously change the value of the answer. So uh, remember that 3 times 10 to the negative second would be 3 multiplied by 1 one hundredth, or 3 multiplied by 1 one hundredth. And, um, you know, that's going to make that number much smaller. So we can estimate these quantities um, depending upon what the exponent looks like. All right, the next part says uh, use numbers expressed in the form of a digit times an integer power of 10 to estimate very large or small quantities. So we're kind of doing the same thing here. Um, I'm not going to write out all of these answers, but as you can see, 3 on the left in the blue there, 3 times 10 to the third is going to be a large number because our exponent is uh, positive. And over on the right here, we, we're looking at the red. 8 multiplied by 10 to the negative third is uh, going to be a, estimated as a very small quantity or an answer that is going to be a decimal or fraction between 0 and 1. So the blue, the blue questions on the left are exponents that are positive so they're going to be larger than one and the larger the exponent is the larger the value of your answer on the in the red the smaller your exponent as we get smaller here down the road um, these answers are going to be estimated as very small quantities even though the coefficient 8 is bigger than 3, we have to look at the exponents and not necessarily the coefficients. We're going to get to that here in a second. Okay, in the standard it says express how many times as much one is than the other. All right, so there's a little process here. Um, so if I'm looking at the first value and trying to find out how much bigger it is than the second value, uh, the first thing we're going to look at are, uh, well, the first thing you got to make sure you look at is make sure the things are in scientific notation. So uh, make sure your coefficient is between 1 and 9, and you're following those rules that I had set forth in the previous video. I think it was 8EE4. Um, this, this value of the coefficient has to be between 1 and 9. This one is and the three also is that's the first thing you want to check out the next thing you want to check out are your exponents and looking at the exponents i see that they are absolutely the same so this one's going to be kind of easy to compare we're just going to divide so we're going to take these two values six and three and we're going to divide them so six divided by three is equal to two now the ten to the thirds are the same so they're going to basically cancel out each other. So the first scientific notation is 2 times, uh, what do they use here, greater as much. Now let's just call it 2 times greater than, or 2 times as much. The second problem, um, I'm checking out the coefficients, and they're both in notation, correct notation. Uh, they're between 1 and 9. The 6 is between 1 and 9, and the 2 is between 1 and 9. 
Uh, however, uh, the exponents are quite different. Uh, we have 10 to the fifth and we have 10 to the third. So I know that the 10 to the fifth is larger than the 10 to the third. I just need to find out how many times. So we're going to divide our coefficients. 6 divided by 3, and we're going to get 2. And then we are going to subtract our exponents in the base 10, like we've done previous to this. If we're multiplying values, we subtract our exponents. So 10 to the fifth, use a different color here, 10 to the fifth, we're going to subtract the fifth power minus the third power to get uh, what? There are two, um, two zeros there that we're going to have to add on. So we're moving that decimal two times. So the answer to this would be two with the difference of two movements of our decimal, which would be 200 times. So six point, uh, sorry, six times 10 to the fifth is 200 times more than, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm goofy here. I, I, I made the mistake. Come on, you caught it, right, didn't you? Six divided by, I should have divided this by two because I changed that value. I was thinking of the problem. I apologize. So let me quickly make that change. We have six divided by two. Six divided by two is equal to... See, the bell's ringing. I'm in a little hurry here. Ah, I shouldn't be in a hurry. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So that's going to change our answer. Glad I caught that. Um, 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's the difference of your coefficients. And the difference of zeros would be 2 zeros. So we have 300 times greater. I apologize. All right, last one. Let's take a look at this. Uh, we could almost estimate the, the division portion of this problem on the bottom. Uh, we have 8.4 and 2.1. So let's estimate that out. I think it's, you know, 2 goes into 8 about four times. So 8.4 divided by 2.1 is equal to approximately, it's actually equal to exactly 4. So the difference there is 4. And then uh, the 9 exponent is larger than the 8, so we're going to subtract those. And the ninth power minus the 8th power is equal to uh, 1 power of 0. So we have the 4 and the 1, 0 difference in our exponent. So this is 40 times greater. I think I have two more examples in a word problem form. All right. Pause the video, give this one a try. Estimate. Estimate is a very key word here. They're not looking for an exact answer, so we are going to be estimating the population of the US and uh, the world and trying to figure out how much um, larger the world is than the United States. So let's take the world first which they say is about seven times 10 to the ninth. And the United States is three times 10 to the eighth. And I am estimating right now, so if I did my division skills, I know that three goes into seven approximately two times, a little bit more than two, but we're estimating. And then what's the difference in zeros there? 10 to the 9th and uh, 10 to the 8th, there's a difference of 1, 0. So we have uh, the, United uh, <laughs> the United States being approximately, I guess I could put the about or approximately symbol in there, uh, 20 times greater. Last one. Sorry, little bell there. Um, 
population of Iowa is given and the population of the United States is given and now we are going to uh, figure out how many times larger one is than the other I don't see the word estimation although we could you know use estimation before we get the exact answer uh, but it looks like we're going to be using our division skills again. So uh, what do we have here? How many times larger is... So let's start with the U.S. value that they give us. The U.S. value is right here. That is 3 multiplied by 10 to the 8th. And 3 multiplied by 10 to the 6th. Uh, you know, if we did a little division here, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. And 10 to the eighth and 10 to the sixth. How many zeros? What's the difference in zeros there? Eight minus six is what? Two. So we have two zeros. So we would say that uh, the population of the United States is 100 times greater than the population of Iowa. In your journal. I'd like you to define the given terms to know, uh, write a few sentences on what you learned from the video, and um, you know, just, just remember for me that uh, this is not um, you know, the end of our discussion. Uh, we're going to have some activities to do in the classroom, and we're going to work on a bunch of these together. Um, you know, I didn't want to take the time in the class to do all this work. Uh, I'd, I'd rather talk with you um, about the purpose of, of what we're doing here the reasoning behind all this. See you in class.